Hi, this is Jeff Potts. I'm the content management practice leader for Optaros, and uh, I also write a blog called ecmarchitect.com. And today uh, we're going to look at Alfresco Facebook integration. Um, it's something that's been covered a lot in um, in the media, but uh, I don't know that everyone's gotten a chance to see it or, or gotten a chance to play with it. So that's what we're going to do today. It should be about a five-minute deal. We're just going to see how it works uh, in Facebook, see what that means to the back-end Alfresco repository, and uh, talk a little bit about configuration. So let's get right to it. The first thing we're looking at here is the uh, actual first page of a test document library I set up. And the first thing we notice is that uh, one of my Facebook friends, John, has added a document uh, to the document library and we can click on that document and now it's retrieving the document from the Alfresco repository and here's the document. Now we can go to my documents and see the document libraries I have set up. So currently I have one document library called test and within that I have three files and again we could launch any of these files pull open the, the document that's pulling from the Alfresco repository. Now let's say we wanted to create a new document library. Let's click on create library. Call it uh, test library. This is a test library. Create it. And now we can um, add a document to that library. And now we have a new document in the library, and that's all there is to it. When we go back to back to our list of libraries, we can see uh, the existing library and the library that we just created. So now let's jump over to the web client and see what's going on in the Alfresco repository. So if I look at um, the company home, there's a folder here called FB88100111150. That that's the same as my Facebook application ID. If I click this, I've got two folders um, in here, and what this is is one folder for every Facebook user who's working with this document library. So I happen to know that this one's John's. So now we can see this folder represents his document library, and within this folder he has uh, a PDF. If I go back up, I can look in my Facebook uh, user folder. And then here are the two libraries, the one that was there before and the one that I just created. And if I click that, then here is the, uh, the JPEG that we just uploaded. The other thing to note is that um, there's uh, permissions set here. So if I go look at the space users, you can see I've added two Facebook users here. And these are just names that I created in the Alpresco user repository. Um, and the username matches the Facebook uh, user ID. Now let's look uh, a little bit about how this is set up. If I go to the diction data dictionary and go to web scripts, and go to com, Facebook, apps, you're going to see a JS file here. This one is named using the uh, the API key from Facebook. So when when you go set up your uh, Alfresco document library in Facebook, you'll have to get your own API key, and then you'll need to create this file. And within this file is the app ID and the app secret, and um, exactly how to write that file is covered on uh, the Alfresco wiki. So I'm not going to open it up here. The other thing I wanted to show you. Um, once you install the Facebook integration AMP module, um, you do have to change some of the web scripts. So let's jump over to my server and let's go to the um, web apps, Alfresco web inf classes uh, directory. And within that, we're going um, down into the web scripts, the Facebook web scripts. 
just list this out so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Um, and then I'll just I'll just grep for uh, JTP Alfresco Doclib. So <clears throat> what this is is basically your Facebook uh, URL. So when you set up your Facebook application for this document library, you're going to define a unique URL. And that URL has to go into all of these web script descriptor files. Um, and that's it. So that's a little bit about uh, Alfresco Facebook integration. Thanks for listening to the screencast. If you want to learn more about Alfresco or other technologies um, in the ECM space, you can go to my blog, ecmarchitect.com. If you want to learn more about uh, the services um, that Optaros provides um, with open source and next generation internet solutions, you can go to optaros.com. And Alfresco's website is alfresco.com.